Number 12. The eyes of certain reptiles pass a single visual signal to the brain when the visual receptors are struck by photons of a wavelength of 850 nanometers. If a total energy of 3.15 times 10 to the negative 14 joules is required to trip the signal, what is the minimum number of photons that must strike the receptor? Okay, so technically I don't know a formula that I can solve for number of photons, right? There's really no specific formula that we have learned just thus far to get us to number of photons. So that probably tells me that I'm going to have to convert something. But we know a formula that actually can find joules per photon, right? And joules per photon is always the unit for energy. Big, big E, capital E. And look, they gave us a wavelength of 850 nanometers. So if they gave us a wavelength with this lambda, right, eight, which is 850 nanometers, can I go from a wavelength to energy? Joules per photon. Yes, I can, right? I know a fo uh, formula between energy and wavelength is E equal HC over wavelength. And you might be saying, you know, well, what's H? What's C? Well, H and C are just constant numbers. H is Planck's constant, which you guys should know. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per second. And C is the speed of light, 2.998 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. You can, you know, round this number to three. I'm just going to use the number that's in your textbook. But either way, memorize these two constants. Your teacher or your professor might not give them to you, so you got to memorize them. All right. Now, the key here is that, well, th this equation is fine and dandy, but what's the unit that has to be put into for wavelength? The only unit that we can use is meters, Whoop. meters, which is just M. Why? Because the speed of light has units of meters per second. So the, the length unit has to match. But what did they give us? Well, what did they give us? They gave us, you know, 850 nanometers. So the first thing you're going to have to do is convert 850 nanometers into meters, and then you can plug in four meters into the formula. So we should know that to go from nanometers to meters, this is the quick version, if you guys just want to memorize this, all you got to do is divide by 10 to the ninth. And if you ever need to go backwards, you just multiply by 10 to the ninth. So I'm just going to take my 850 nanometers and divide by 10 to the ninth, and voila, I will get meters. So 850 divided by 10 to the ninth is 8.5 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. Now that's the wavelength that I can plug into this formula. So let's go. Energy equals H, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times the speed of light 2.998 times 10 to the eighth all over my new wavelength in meters, which is 8.5 times 10 to the negative seventh. Do that math in the calculator. You get an energy value of, let's see, you get an energy value of two point, we'll say 2.3. I think that's right. Yeah. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19th, and that's in joules. Now remember, whenever you calculate this energy in when you're using this whole formula, it's always joules per photon. So that's how much energy is needed for one photon. But now they're just asking for just the number of photons. Well, if I'm looking for photons, right? That's my unit that I'm looking for. And I know that I have joules per photon, it seems that I just have to cancel out the word joule, and there you go, you have the word photon, right, which is the unit that you want. And look here, they gave you the other piece of the puzzle. They said the total energy was 3.15 times 10 to the negative 4 joules, we just need to find photons. So, if I want to go, actually, 
No, we'll just start with this. If we start with 3.15 times 10 to the negative fourth joules, you don't want joules anymore. So when we convert, we always times by that ratio. And now we're going to use this information because this is the one that has joules and photon in the same number. So joules on the bottom, photons up top. And what's the numbers that will go here and here? Oh, well, the number that I gave was 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per one photon. So with one photon, there's 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So now all we got to do is this calculation because look, joules and joules will cancel out. So 3.15 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 2.3 times 10 to the negative 19th we get one point, we'll say 1.4 if we round, but it's 1.36. So if you want to give the three sig figs, it would be 1.37, but we'll just keep the two sig figs for now. So 1.4 times 10 to the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five photons. And that is the minimum number of photons needed in order to strike this receptor. So box this answer off, that's the answer you get and round it to two sig figs, all right? So this one was a little bit more challenging. You just had to put the two pieces of information together in the final conversion. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. But let me, let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comments. If this helped you like this question, just so that we know that we're doing our job right. And if you want, you could click the subscribe button. That will help us out a ton to getting the word out to people just like yourselves and students just like yourselves who want to do well with this OpenStax textbook. All right, guys? Thank you so much for that. I will see you all in the next question. Have an awesome day.